Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome back to another video and once again, Disney Store UK and Disney Store Europe Instagrams have announced the release of the new limited edition Alice doll to celebrate her 70th anniversary. So without further ado, let's just get right into the details. The caption says, you can learn a lot about things from the flowers. Celebrate 70 years of Wonderland with the Alice limited edition doll with art by Disney legend Mary Blair coming in August to Shop Disney in Europe. So it doesn't actually say the ex exact uh, limited edition size or the exact release date for Europe, it just says it's coming in August. But I have seen people post where the US release date is actually on the 26th of July, which is end of this month, right? So I guess uh, 2021 doll season is kicking off in full gear when we're getting two dolls in one month, with Esmeralda just being released last week. Alright, so now let's take a look at her design, shall we? So, to be quite honest, when I first saw the design, it, it took me by surprise. It completely took me by surprise because I was not expecting this look at all. I was thinking that they were going to do a variation of her classic blue dress with the apron. So it was actually kind of a surprise. But we shall see if it's a good surprise or a bad one, shall we? Alright, so taking a look closer look at the doll. She seems to have her classic blonde hair, um, it's, show, oh, it's waist length, and she also has her black little ribbon headband in her hair, and thank god there are no tinsels in her hair. And for her face sculpt, it seems like they're still using the Snow White face sculpt, and she has her eyebrows, one side is slightly arched to make her look like she's curious about something. She was like, my dress is getting curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> And she also had side eyes, but they're not too extreme, they're just kind of subtly to the side. And she also has very, very red lips, actually. It's quite surprising because Disney never gives Alice super red lips. They always try to give her like a neutral nude kind of tone, so it's quite surprising to see that she's rocking some really red lips. Alright, moving on to her outfit. So for her top, um, it's black and white, also a surprising color combination for Alice. I've never seen her wear white and black in the animated movie. But anyway, it's, it's black and white. So um, she has her black collar, which seems to look like it's pleather. It has a little button and some metal chains, which has a pendant that looks like the pocket watch from the rabbit. So I'm really hoping the pendant is going to be metal. It'll be really cool if it's metal. And she has her puffy sleeves with lace trimmings and a black little band at the end. And her bodice seems to be like a velvety type of material, I think. All right, now let's move on to her skirt because this is the part that gets interesting. So even though I was not expecting this, I'm actually kind of digging it. I actually kind of like it. It looks chic. It looks modern. I love the silhouette of it. So it starts out blue, but as it moves down, it's bombarded with flowers, uh, which is, like I said in the caption, is the original art by Disney legend Mary Blair, who I believe also did the artwork for the movie. So there are flowers, normal flowers. There are also like the talking, singing flowers. Those flowers always weirded me as a, as a kid. When I was younger, I always, mm -mm, no, I didn't like them when I was younger. <laughs> Scare me. But anyways, they're the flowers and they're also like multicolored gems scattered throughout the dress. And the hem has a black trim as well. And she also seems to have like fishnet petticoats underneath, which is really cool because we haven't seen petticoats on actual dolls for a long time. And she also has her white tights, leggings, and her black shoes. I'm not sure if her black shoes are flat or are their heels I can't really see from this angle and on the straps of her shoes she also have two little flowers and finally she also has peplum so I think this is the um, um, inspiration of the squared apron where it comes from I'm thinking because instead of one apron they kind of translate it into two square peplums on this side so they have a blue trim and in the middle it's white and I'm thinking all the gold little patterns are either embroideries or just stitched with gold threads because they don't look printed to me actually. And she also has like gold little butterflies on her peplums which is super cute and I'm also hoping that the butterflies are going to be metal but I'm not sure they could end up being plastic as well. So that's the overall look of the doll. So I skimmed through the comments a little bit and the reaction seems to be polarizing. One half of people were expecting her to be movie accurate and one half of people really like this new modern approach. And I kind of understand both sides, okay? The original Alice doll released in 2011 is one of the most expensive and rarest dolls that you can get on the aftermarket. On eBay alone, she is ranging 
from $4,500 all the way to $5,000. So that's super, super expensive. So for those people who don't have the original Alice doll, they would probably want this doll to be recreated in a variation of the blue dress. So they could own a Alice doll in their blue iconic dress without having to pay $5,000 on eBay. Okay, my, I myself included, I don't have the original doll. So I would have loved this doll to be in her iconic blue dress so that I, I can finally have this Alice doll. But also from Disney's perspective, they have already done Alice in her blue dress. So there's really no point in remaking a variation of that dress because if you look at Rapunzel, for example, her first two dolls are movie accurate. But for her third doll, Disney went into a completely different approach and took creative liberty to give her a new outfit. And since this Alice is her second release, I can also see Disney wanting to do something different. So I relate to those people who want her to be movie accurate because I would have loved for it to be the same. But that being said, I also understand why this release has this particular design. Because at least I can have a limited edition 17 inch Alice doll in whatever dress she may be in, I don't have to spend $5,000 on eBay now. However, I do have some comments for this doll. So looking at the original doll, the original doll definitely is more glamorous and more grand than this current one. So even if they wanted to take this creative approach where she is in a different look, I still think they could have zhuzhed her up a little bit more because especially the bodice area is it's just very plain black. There's nothing happening there. If there had been gold embroideries or like jewels or buttons or some kind of detail happening there, that way I think it could have kind of offset the overall darkness that's happening in the midsection. Or maybe just making it blue and be a part of the skirt that forms into her iconic little apron thingy and that would have been cute too. I think they could have given her a new face sculpt that resembles the actual Alice instead of using the Snow White face sculpt. And also the paint, I would have loved it to be a bit more demure, I suppose, and younger because the colors right now make her looks really matured. And Disney already has a, uh, Alice face sculpt. And I think these sculpts are done digitally, so I'm sure they could have easily tweaked it to scale it up to the 17 inch size maybe, or just give her a brand new sculpt to begin with. And one final thing is that wouldn't it be amazing if this doll was in the right scale and age for Alice the character? So she's gonna be short and tiny, it's gonna be really cute. So when she's display displayed with the rest of the princesses in the doll line, she's gonna look like her actual age and a little kid among the princesses instead of looking like she's also one of them in their teenage grown up years. So after all that's been said, what are my final, final thoughts? Well, it's a little bit underwhelming if I'm perfectly honest. She's not bad, but she's not great either. I still don't outright hate this doll. I still think she has several good qualities to her, but at the same time, I have to admit, a lot of interesting choices seems to have been made for this doll, and I don't think all of them succeeded. <laughs> And finally, I suppose it's a good opportunity for collectors who don't have the original Alice doll to finally have a chance to own a Alice limited edition doll in their collections. But then again, art is always subjective. So what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling about this doll in this video might not necessarily be what you think of it. So I would be very much interested to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Are you with the creative approach team or are you with the movie accurate team? Let me know your thoughts and continue the discussion in the comments below. And uh, stay tuned because I will update with the edition size information and the release date information as soon as I get them in the video description. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you also in my next video. Bye! Thanks for watching!